This track has been specifically designed for you to listen to as you prepare for the birth of your baby during a time where things have shifted to a different kind of landscape than you probably anticipated before. And even though things on the outside are shifting and changing in a very different way to what you'd imagined or expected, you do know, don't you, that you have all the resources inside to manage any turns, changes of direction, any changes. Because although sometimes we may not be able to change the stuff that is happening out there, you know, don't you, that you do have more and more increasing ability than you ever thought you could and can change and shift your own internal landscape so that you can navigate any shifts and changes more easily than you first imagined you could, can you not? Because you've adapted before, haven't you? There are times when a person looks back at a time when they thought they couldn't do something. That was before the daydreaming, the quiet meandering, the wandering thoughts of the unconscious placing new resources in place. And those quiet nighttime dreams where connections take place in the metaphor of nonsensical story. Because your unconscious, that wise part of you, it's good to know that's working for you without even thinking about it. So you can just forget about this as you focus on that. So in a moment, you'll hear me counting backwards from three to one, and I'll say the word relax. And as I say the word relax, you feel your body softening, your mind becoming clearer, feeling calmer. From three, two, one, relax. Just focusing on your breathing now. Breathing in. Breathing in and out. Three, two, one, relax. And you know that your baby is soothed by that wonderful heartbeat as you move the oxygen and blood flow down and around your entire body. And no matter what's happening on the outside, going on around you, you and your baby are connected. You can allow your baby to feel safe by simply focusing on the breathing. That's the one thing you can always control is your breath. So breathing now all the way down to baby on three, two, one. Relax. And it may be now that you're sitting with the possibility of giving birth in a different way to how you'd imagined before. Perhaps with your birth partner unable to physically be present for some, most, or all of this time. And even though you know the important logic behind this, there's awareness of your value, a valued contribution to the well-being of others, to keep people safe, and even though this isn't what you'd pictured, there are things that you can put into place to make this more comfortable. So that you can flow with the in and out and through the birth of your baby, feeling your partner's presence, their love, surrounded around and sinking right into the nucleus of what it's like to be right next to your partner. Now I don't know if you've ever been away from somebody. Perhaps they were a long, long way away. Maybe in another land. And you've looked at the moon, really paid attention to it. Making out the shadows of the surface. The brightness of its reflection as it illuminates and kisses the landscape all around. And how many times have you considered and known 
This is the exact same moon that your loved one is looking at too. And in this specific moment, as you're both gazing from separate locations, at exactly the same location, connects and even brings together in time and space. There's a kind of unspoken connection now, as a person, as two people. You can watch the contours of the moon and wonder how quiet, how still, how still it is to be up there. The vast night sky and a heart connection, anchored by a steadfast moon, surrounded by stars. Two people's beautiful experience, the same experience, where physical distance simply melts away. And because you know you're connected in that way, they might as well be sitting right next to you, with a supportive hand around your shoulder, and a knowing gaze of, you've got this, I believe in you, I see you. I believe that you can go deep down, that you have all the resources you need, don't you? You see, the wonderful thing about romantic partners is that every partnership is unique, and you know the unique ins and outs of what it means to be close. Those unspoken words saying everything, in the moments of silence, that distance between, filled with knowing, knowledge of a loving support. And I don't know whether it's the way your partner brushes your hair from your forehead, or unexpectedly wraps their arms around you from behind, embracing you. I don't know whether they take your hand or look deeply beyond your eyes, inside to connect soulfully. Maybe it's all or none of these, and maybe it's something else that you share. Those little meaningful things that you do when you're together. And your partner has a particular smell too, a scent which probably had a lot to do with your initial attraction because we all have our signature smell. And you'll know there's unmistakably as you take a deep breath now. And the time you first met, an inevitable gravitation towards each other that meant you felt a deep connection, even with the miles between. So a part of you can begin to rediscover that too. So take a deep breath and feel them close only a breath away. Three, two, one, relax. Going deeper down. Warmth, comfort, support, their smell, their voice, right here in the birth space. And the distance melted. Three, two, one, relax. And with that scent comes all of the other things associated. The things that they do and are which hold so much importance and meaning. The curve of their neckline. The softness of their lips. The familiar voice. The way they move. Now is the time to really step inside and notice fully how much closer you can feel someone's presence when you really experience in your imagination every little detail. Conversations which quench the thirst of the soul and the memories of times before, journeys, times, places together, talking, playing, laughing. I don't know if you recall a time now that you've spent together and felt fully connected. And I invite you to make time to talk with your loved one. Recall a time when you were together that you really enjoyed laughing, playing, loving fully. And you can decide together your very own anchor for connection. Just in the same way that people can connect through the moon that when you're birthing your baby, you can go back there in your memory to the 
that time, place, togetherness, and find your anchor of connection here with all of the smells and sounds, all of the feelings and sensations, and invite them to as they hold space for you wherever they are, waiting for that joyful reunion once again. They can instead step into your agreed space and time to meet, to anchor, to connect, to support, and to be together as your body opens to birth. So the invisible lines of space and time between diminish. You both spend time here, wonderful landscape place memory that only you two alone share, being together, connected, supported. And whenever you go there when you're in labor, you can meet and touch and breathe and hold and be. You see, the wonderful thing about people's powerful imagination is, all we need to do is imagine, visualize, and the body and soul will respond as though they are physically there beside you. And perhaps you feel their presence in ways you can't describe. It's okay, you don't need to. You can practice being separate and yet feeling together. A gift of a presence in the present and a gift to unfold when you know it's almost time to meet your baby or any time you choose. Some people like to imagine a thread, golden, silver, or any color that you choose for yourself. A thread connected deep within the heart space, your heart. Energetic thread rooted deeply, just like an umbilical cord, so to speak. And the other end, a long continuous cord connected and rooted deeply within your partner's heart. A lifeline that can transmit and move messages, feelings, thoughts, and pure impulse pulsing backwards and forwards. Love between absorbing inside. They might as well be right here. And this cord, this continuous line is deeply flexible. So no matter how far or near the distance, it's their strong pulsing, communicating quietly. And as you send the connections out and receive the responses back between you that you both need, experience now what it's like for those to flow along the root of that cord and into this heart, mind, soul, to grow the feeling of support inside to fill a body, your body, with the presence of your partner, every cell, every fiber, how wonderful to be able to do that easily. And if you can fill a body, your body, with the presence, communications, the love and the being and energy of your partner, then you can also, can you now, begin to grow that feeling out of the body. Cocoon yourself in a bubble, a bubble of support, which with ideas of the moon and connection and that long continuous unbroken line between here and there, between this and that, you might find yourself defying everything you once believed to be true. You become them, they become you become one, curiously closing the distance of space and time, and so the support grows. So imagine this, a cocoon, and you and your baby at the nucleus, surrounded by the very essence of love and communication from a person with whom you hold this mutual love. I wonder how warm that is, at the nucleus of this warmth wrapped in support, 
and connecting the warmth and love from the outside with the baby inside so they can feel it too. And so as you and your amazing unconscious continues to shift, finding new ways of connecting which are beyond this physical realm, perhaps even if it feels right for you into the energetic realms, because we all feel the energies inside and out in one way or another, don't we? And sometimes opening the heart and creating connection in new ways, you already know how to do that. So you can just let it happen. And as your unconscious mind continues throughout the remainder of your pregnancy, to settle those things in place naturally, no thought required. It's important for you to know that midwives, and I don't know if you already know that the word midwife means with women, with woman, they'll be with you and there for you. And I have a friend who knows midwives well, and she knows just as you can know that midwives are phenomenal creatures. Midwives go into this profession because of a calling to support, to hold space, to listen to and to know you. And they understand deeply your needs. And just like a moon, a midwife can hold steadfast for you too. A special kind of hero. Because sometimes the heroes you've only just met can become a close confidant and birth keeper in the blink of an eye. And you have got this mama. You know it deeply inside. Your midwife knows it. Your birthing ancestors, they know it too. And I know that your partner knows it. So spend some time as you continue to enjoy feeling the baby on the inside, on making those connections. The moon, a thread, a bubble, because you know you have all the resources inside. And in the future, you can notice yourself looking back with pride and maybe a sense of wonder at just how many more resources that you had, more than you ever thought you did. You've got this. And that's so good to know, isn't it? Three two, one, relax. So I'd like you to take a moment to enjoy this sensation. You can either continue to work on those connections now, or you can spend some time connecting in with the baby, or you can always just bring yourself back to your breath. Just following each and every breath you take in and out. And whatever you choose, it's easy for you to do so now. Three, two, one. Relax. As you return your attention to the sound of my voice, all of these positive suggestions are now locked deep within your subconscious, there for you to utilize any time you choose. And any time you feel that fear of separation or anxiety creeping back in, you just simply use your self-hypnosis trigger words, three, two, one, relax and it takes you back to this wonderful place, feeling connected and feeling loved. So in a moment, you'll hear me counting you up from one to five. On the count of one, you become aware of what's around you to your left, to your right. On the count of two, any feelings of heaviness or lightness returns to their true perspective. On the count of three, all sounds are returning to normal. On the count of four, you begin to move, stretch, moving the body, breathing deeply. And on the count of five, just opening your eyes, 
bringing your awareness back into your space, feeling more positive, re-energized and safe. So slowly coming up now on one, two, three, beginning to move, four, breathing deeply and five, slowly blinking your eyes open, coming back into your space. <laughs> 